Welcome back everyone to Learning My Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.36, okay? It says, the ST graph for a train has been experimentally determined. From the data, construct the VT and AT graphs for the motion when T is between zero and 40 seconds. When T is between zero and 30 seconds, the curve is S equal to 0 0.4 T squared meter. And then it becomes a straight for t greater or equal to 30 seconds, okay? So, let's start by solving this problem into parts. So, we're going to break it into, first, we're going to find uh, our values when t when is between 0 and 30. And what we know about this part is that our position is equal to 0 0.4 t squared, okay? Since we know our position in, in time, with respect to time, what we can say is that our velocity, which is equal to the change in position divided by our change in time, basically our derivatives, then we will realize that this is equal to 0 0.8 t. And then, after that, we can also say that our acceleration, since it's the derivative of our velocity with respect to time, then we know that our acceleration is going to be 0 0.8. And all these three equations so are for when t is between 0 and 30 seconds, okay? Then we can also find our position, velocity, and acceleration when t is greater than 30 seconds okay so what do we have well in the problem statement they are not telling us what is our position but they are telling us that it becomes a straight okay so we got that from 30 from our, when our time is 30 and from when it ends at 40 seconds it's a straight line and what do we know about straight lines? How do we graph? How do we represent them into equation? Well, we represent them as y equals to m being the slope times our variable in our case is a t plus our y intercept. Okay. Now, let's just start by finding our slope. So, what is our slope? Well, a slope is the rise over run of our straight line, right? So, this is our straight line. And we're going to represent the rise as our red line. And as we can see, the rise is going to be 600 minus 360. Okay? And this is in meters. But the slope is the rise over the run. So we're going to represent the run as this purple line. So this is the run. And our run is going to be from... 30 to 40, meaning that we're going to have 40 minus 30, okay? And if we plug this into our calculator, we will realize that this is equal to 24 meters per second, okay? The units at the bottom were second. Now, that we know this, then we can say, okay, we need, we do have our slope, but we don't know what our y intercept is, okay? So, in order to get our full equation, we're going to utilize this um, linear equation where we have y minus y1, which is y1 is going to be a point where we know both the position and the time. So, for example, in my case, I'm going to choose this one as my point. And then we know that the time it's 30 and we know that the position is 360 okay so this y1 is representing 360 so we're gonna have y minus y1 of m our slope multiplied by t minus t1 t1 being the time of our point so if we replace our point values and our slope values we will have y minus 360 because we're choosing that specific point then we got m to be 24 and then we got t minus t1 well t1 is 30 okay so if we solve for y 
or in our case, our y is actually our s for our slope is going to be 24t minus 720 plus 360 because we're moving this negative 360 in here. And let's not forget, I just replaced this y for an s just because we're working with position, okay? And if we solve entirely for our position, we will realize that this is going to be 24t minus 360 after we combine our uh, our expression without the, these two guys over here, okay? So now we know our position. So we know that our position for t greater than 10 seconds is going to be 24t minus 360, okay? And then here we go again, we're going to do our velocity, which is going to do be the derivative of position with respect to our time. And if we do the derivative of 24t is going to be 24. And then the derivative of negative 360 is just zero. So that's all we have. And then again, we say that the acceleration is the derivative of velocity with respect to t, the time t. And then when we do the derivative of our velocity, which is only 24, the derivative of a constant is equal to zero, okay? So we will realize that our acceleration for that time is equal to zero. If we go back to our question, the, the question is asking to construct the v, t, and the a, t graphs. So now that we have the equations, all we have to do is just construct both of them. So let's start by doing the V T diagram. Uh, let's actually make the time a little longer. So this will be 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. This is our time. So we got 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And over here we got our 40 seconds. Okay. Now, between zero and 30 seconds, we're going to have that our velocity is driven by 0 0.8t, okay? So if we do that, is if we note this, we know that t is raised to the first power, meaning that this is just going to be a linear line, okay? Let's make it a little higher up. And then if we go for our t being greater than 30 seconds, we realize that our velocity is equal to a constant, which is 24, meaning that from 30 to 40, it's going to be a plain constant. And we know, we're gonna know that this constant is equal to 24, okay? This is in meters per second. And our times are in second. Okay, now, This is our first graph. And the second graph that we're going to do is going to be our acceleration graph. So we got 10 seconds, 20, 30, 40. So we got acceleration in here. This is 10, 20, 30, and 40. This is our time. So let's just start for on our beginning and our origin from zero to 30 seconds, we get that our acceleration is a constant of 0 0.8. So if we draw that, we're going to have 0 0.8 all the way from zero all the way to 30, so here and here. And then after that, for t greater than 30 and all the way until 40, we're going to see that we have zero. Our acceleration is equal to zero. So we're gonna have from here to here, we got zero, okay? And these two graphs over here are our final answer. If you guys like the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.